it's recording and I didn't know it. Hi. So I recorded this a minute ago and it didn't work out. You got my messy house. This is weird. Ah, okay. Um, but I've been asked a couple of times how I do it, how I got to purple so quickly. Um, I've been doing this nine-ish months and I love it so much. Um, I've had so much fun. I have a couple of great girls under me who have pushed me up and helped me go and it's wonderful. Um, so what did I do? In the beginning, I worked my tail off. I um, learned all that I could. I read books. I lit. Well, I didn't really read books because I'm not much of a reader. But I listened to books. Audible is amazing. GoPro by Eric Worre is huge. Um, on Audible, get the book, find them. It's great. Um, yeah, so that that was a huge help. And what I recommend most. When you look at the top leaders, they're the ones going to trainings. Um, they're making the monthly meetings. They are leading the monthly meetings. They go to convention. They get on the phone calls. They read books. They read blogs. I'm counting with my fingers. They talk to one another. They learn from one another. They're humble. Um, they absorb as much information as they can to get where they need to go. I still have a lot of learning to do. I have a long ways to go, and every day I am learning something new, and it's bonkers amazing. Sorry for the mess behind me, mm. um, but I just needed to get this out. So that's what I did. I learned. I read. I Googled direct sales, women in direct sales. I learned about our cosmetics. I learned about what I'm doing. Go figure, huh? Um, so if you go to a leader and you ask them, you asking them for help and then I may say what is it that you want me to do that you're not willing to do yourself I can't do your job for you nobody can we can help lead you and guide you um, but then you need to take the reins and you need to go if you are wanting the leadership role if you want to grow in this business if you want to get to the top levels you need to do that you need to absorb all the information um, I've been hearing a lot lately, how do you sponsor? How do you get people to join your team? There's nobody out there. This world is saturated. Um, it's not. There's like a 7 bajillion people in the world and only 190 presenters. And of that 190 presenters, just over 2,000 in leadership. What? Bonkers. So to say that this world, this area, this anything is saturated, not even close not even close and it's so exciting right at least for me I'm so excited that we've only like nipped nipped the tip of the iceberg it's there's still a very deep 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 waters it's going far can you tell I'm excited um so that's what you got to do you got to read you listen to books um watch your mentors find a mentor ask questions you need help ask for help we're happy to help go to your monthly meetings if you have meetings in your area go if you don't have meetings in your neighborhood create a meeting at or ask your sponsor your upline if they're willing to do a call with your team maybe um, you can gather the girls in your area and we can do a video conference with you hey I can do this see um, I would love to do a video conference uplines with love um, any of us we can do team meetings on the computer there's ways around it don't make excuses if you want this go for it push for it go to convention in August um, go to monthly meetings read books um, you can't sponsor anybody if I said hey Sally Sue I'm gonna give you fifty thousand dollars in seven days if you can sponsor five people I bet my tush you'd be out there asking everybody hey come be with me work with me this amazing team we're uplifting women we um, empower one another we work together we have an amazing team will you I'd love it if you worked with me I bet you'd be out there doing it for 50 grand there's ways there's um cold calls are hard um I was reading not reading listening to Tom Schnipschnipschnip 
Big Al is his nickname. And he was saying that he, um, he was saying that he had a room full of leaders. And he knew they were leaders because they were at, like, a conference. And during the free time, um, he had a little meeting. And the people that came to the meeting are the ones who were like, forget the free time. I want to learn. And they were in there learning. He asked those leaders um, how they joined. Was it family? He had 10, um, 10 categories to choose, choose, 10 things he can choose from. I don't remember them all. But the ones that were out of the 39, 36 of them, 36 joined from family or friend. Um, hello. That's a huge number. Um, two of them joined from an online ad, one person from a newspaper, and one, I don't remember what the other one was. But, hello, that's your warm calls, the people around you. Have you contacted every single, I know I haven't, so most likely you haven't either. Contacted every single person that you know and said, hey, this is amazing. Join me in this journey. You contact them. The warm calls I know are the hardest. It's easier to go to a stranger and say, hey, stranger, join my team, than to somebody who thinks you're a freaking Looney Tune. My sister-in-law, <clears throat> she's on my team now, uh, she thought we were Looney Tunes. She wasn't for this. It came around after, what, eight months, and she decided, yeah, you're not as crazy as I thought you were. So be consistent. Consistency is huge. Be consistent. Post daily. Uh, contact people regularly. Contact your past customers. Be happy. Be yourself. Don't be the be the person who posts about happy things in their life. Not, I mean, things happen all the time. Don't be fake. By all means, don't be fake. Things happen, and that's okay. But don't be the pe person. Ugh. It's hot outside. Oh, the drone. You know, it's raining. It's snowing. Oh, my life sucks. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody's attracted to that. And they're not going to want to join your team if you're just Debbie Downer. But if you're like, oh, my goodness, it's such a great day. We went and ran around outside. You're turning the bad things into good things. It's snowing outside. Let's go build a snowman. Or, oh, that means we get to cuddle and watch a movie or read books or sit by the fire. Or just don't be, you know, a frump a bump I don't know what a frump a bump is, but don't be one. Have fun. Enjoy your business. Have a smile on your face. Find a way. Read books. Listen to books. Find your mentors. Watch YouTube videos. Google people. Google network marketing or how to train your hostess. Or There's so much out there on the wide world web. World wide web? Something web world wide. Wah, wah, wah www that um there's so much out there learn it and have fun with it bye